today we got our Home Depot pickaxe and uh, we're going to help you develop a little bit more of your kinetic chain or your kinematic sequence. And so you saw what we did last week with the chipping. So if I just swing this pickaxe in both directions, out of the way, out of the way, and I increase. Now, I hope you bought this and you're going to be doing this at home and you don't do this one in the aisles of Home Depot. Now, for, for chipping and putting, you can go ahead and do that in the aisle at Home Depot, but definitely not the one I'm about to show you, okay? So we're going to be projecting this pickaxe into the net. If you've got a nice open field and it's a safe place, trust me, you don't want to be, you know, heaving this at any, uh, any, you know, corner store. So lots of space for you to heave this thing. So I'm going to go over the blue target, over blue target, over blue target. So you notice now, I'm starting to load the ground. We had a good session with Ed this morning, and Ed was loading the quad, but he wasn't loading the glute. He wasn't firing into, so I am using the glute and quad to charge the ground and using the ground to project that pickaxe. Wasn't that gorgeous? That was fun. So when I'm swinging back and through, and then I want to heave it out there, you'll notice now your brain's going to have to go get the ground and turbocharge the ground. That's what we talk about, these ground forces that help you propel the objects to the target. So if I take a 7-iron, and I want to throw the 7-iron in there, throw. So I'm throwing the seven iron. So notice how I go get the ground to throw the seven iron out there. Now, if I take five iron and I throw it out there, but I don't let it go. Well, what's going to happen now? If I throw it from here, I miss. Gather. See how I loaded the ground to throw it out there? It felt like I was throwing that pickaxe lower to the ground. If I throw it again, it feels like I'm going to cut the dandelion stem. All right, so gather, throw. Oh, wasn't that amazing? So I absolutely lambasted that and it felt so easy to do because my brain really had the sensation of going to the ground. That's what Tiger does really well. That's what Rory does extremely well. So the long hitters out there are the ones that really use the ground to their advantage. And it's not something that you want to get out of a mat or a machine that you have to repeat the same patterns because you know your brain is incapable of repeating. But if you put something nice and heavy in your hands, even a four pound hammer, if you don't want to go with the pickaxe, if you find that uh, <laughs> the pickaxe is just a little too intimidating for you, just grab a little four pound hammer at your Home Depot and then feel how you're going to use the ground to heave that four pound hammer around the backyard. Just something a little heavier to engage the ground. So now, once you feel how to use the ground, how to load that kinetic chain, then you'll find a lot easier time to do it with the golf swing. So have a look at throwing the club Sean Clement. And a really good prelude to that would be head position and lag. I, I show you how to throw the club with one hand first to get you warmed up. And then we're going to throw it with one hand from underneath, like when we're slashing a sword and you feel how the weight of the club is releasing you. So we show you how to properly throw the club with one arm. And then when we put both hands on the club, you'll have a much easier time and you'll, you'll have more success right out of the gate and not throw it behind you or over your, over your left shoulder and uh, you know, run the risk of hurting somebody or, or hurting something, right? Or breaking something. So again, 
really important sensations to go get, fantastic sensations to be able to plug into the golf swing, but please, safety above all, okay? Hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you next week.